Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome to another Let's Play of Total War Shogun 2. So last time we did the Shimazu on Legendary Difficulty. Now I'm going to do the Date, which you might wonder, what the hell Date? You've already played as them. Yes I have, but I haven't played as them as uh, on Legendary mode yet. Uh, and I my aim is to eventually have a single Let's Play on every single clan um, on Legendary mode on my channel. Um, so yeah, here's number two. Uh, we're going to turn that off, we're going to have battle time limit on 60 minutes just in case the game fucks up. We have CPU moves on, no advisor help obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be able to play on legendary mode. So the Date, in case you forgot or you haven't watched my other Let's Play, if you haven't by the way, you probably shouldn't because this one is going to be miles better. Um, we got a charge bonus to all units, uh, we get a we get a superior Nodachi Samurai and we get reduced recruitment cost and upkeep for Nodachi Samurai. So we're going to basically make our armies around or base them around the Nodachi Samurai. Uh, not entirely, we're not gonna just purely like pump out Nodachi Samurai, but we are gonna have quite a bit of them. Uh, so the Shimazu uh, startups right there, the Date start basically in the opposite side of Japan. Uh, opposite side of Japan even. Um, right over here, on the top right, the north basically. And uh, anyway, before or without any further ado, let's just uh, start the game and watch the cutscene and everything. 1545. This is the Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country of war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Date lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. We do not walk the same path as other clans. We are revered as strong, independent, and brave in battle. Our warriors are feared. Their skills with the Nodachi are unrivaled. In battle, they terrify the foe. Bisha Mountain, the war god has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Date clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Date, once masters of the northern reaches of Honshu. Our authority is now in jeopardy. Tanemune, intent on wedding his youngest son to an Uesugi princess, has created a rift within our clan. Outraged by his father's plans for his younger brother, Tanemune's heir has rallied our most influential retainers to his banner. They now fight to unite the Date under his rule. Tanemune must answer for the strife he has brought upon our people. Once defeated, our attention must be turned to the reconstruction of all that was lost during our internal struggle, including the reassertion of our authority in the north. Having capitalized upon our infighting to expand their power, the Mogami clown posed the biggest threat. Capturing Ugo to the west will diminish their influence. We have a history of conflict with the Hatakeyama to the south, so we should not hesitate to take Miyagi province from them. Rich in quality iron, 
This province will enhance our military capability whilst giving us much coveted resource in which to train. As we gain influence, we will surely draw the ire of Kyoto. We have no need to submit to the whims of the Shogun. So should he be foolhardy enough to march against us, he will find the Date ready to fight for our power and independence. Alright, so our first mission is to crush the rebellion in the following province, Iwate, and we get inspired endeavors which give us plus 24% wealth generator of buildings across all provinces for six turns. So, is to become Shogun, military ruler of, of Japan. Right, so first things first, let's have a look at our generals. Uh, we have a 26-year-old daimyo, we have a 23-year-old brother, and we have a 18-year-old brother. That's pretty good, he's about to come of age, so an extra general is always uh, handy. We've got a 10-year-old daughter, oh damn, this uh, guy got at it early. And we have a 2-year-old heir, that's good as well. Our, oh wow, our wife's even a young, year, a young younger, she was, she was 15, man. This is America. <laughs> um, right, so uh, that's that. Actually, I want to have a look at my uh, my Daimyo's stats. He gets self-centered, plus one melee attack for his general and his bodyguard. Actually, yes. Um, plus one repression in this province, and minus 5% of the character's chance of being assassinated. Pretty good. Some really nice stats there. The general doesn't have anything. Nope, never does. Right, so diplomacy. We currently know two clans, the Hatakiyama and the Mogami. We're at war with the Mogami, and we are trading with the Hatakiyama. That's good, because the Hatakiyama actually have iron, which we will need uh, when we are going to upgrade our blacksmith to uh, the highest level. Right, so my plan for this campaign is to have uh, Nodachi Samurai and Katana Samurai as my main force. Uh, probably also Naginata Samurai uh, for the tankiness. Um, but... The I'm going to make my Nodachi in this province, so I'm going to make this a uh, Weaponsmith, which will give us extra melee attack, because my Nodachi should not be getting hit in combat uh, by arrows. Then, when we get our second armor, which is most likely going to be happening in Sagami here, uh, we'll start making this into an armor smith or, a or whatever it's called, and we'll make the, um, uh, the katanas and naginata here. Uh, we'll, we'll obviously make them there first, but we'll make them here later. Um, and then these towns uh, or this town will be able to uh, have the extra armored units. And um, when we do get better archers, I'm probably going to go for the bow warrior monks. We'll be able to make them here in Itachi because this has the cra has the craft works. So that's sort of my plan. I want to go sort of down south here. Uh, and get those uh, sorted for myself, and then we can make better units. But for now, we'll just have um, the weaponsmith here, which we will uh, make our money with. So, because we are currently bordering Natakiyama, I'm not really afraid of them, so I'm going to offer them military axes, and I'm going to ask them Come, for a little bit of money your wisdom, for it. I will give your words due consideration. See how much I wanna, they're, offer, or they're willing to pay me for that. Uh, 350, how about 400? Uh, it's a pretty cheap way of making money. They will take 400. In that case, I want to check 450 just in case. Alright, 400 is the max they're willing to give me. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a cheap way to make money, but it, um, it works. And uh, on Legendary, I think you're allowed to use those sort of tricks, in my opinion. Alright, so I'm going to go for a Weaponsmith, which will take 5 turns to make. So I don't really want to make any units in the first 5 turns, just be because if we get that, the Jari Ashigaru are actually going to be extremely good right away. I'll probably make a Bo Ashigaru. Um, sometime soon, but we're not in a rush to do rush to do that right now. I do want to get a harbor going uh, right away as well because that'll allow us to make the trading port next turn. Uh, sorry, uh, in two turns, uh, if we have the money then anyway, um, which will then allow us obviously to get to that uh, node really early on, and then we'll be able to have um, a lot of income from that. So that's going to be our aim for that. Uh, we have our Master G Arts. Normally I always go for equal fields first, but because we are um, such an aggressive clan, I actually want to go for the Way of the Sword first, so we can get the Date no Dachi Samurai uh, as early on as possible. Um, and then after that I'll probably go for equal fields, maybe for uh, Heaven and Earth, just so we can get the encampment, and then the extra uh, melee attack, and that basically means we'll be able to have our maxed out melee, so golden melee, um, in here at basically the earliest convenience so that'll be great so for now we need to get rid of this army here I'm probably gonna get rid of the um, Yari Samurai that I have after this battle uh, because it's quite expensive and I don't really want any right now I, uh, I'm just gonna go with Katanas and Odachi once I can make them 
so let's just uh, get this battle going. Get a pretty early battle here right away. That'll be nice. Alright, so the map is not bad. They might use this hill, or they might go over here and try and use this somewhat, uh, but that should be fine. Right, so the story, as far as I can tell, is our father, uh, Date Tanamune, who is leading this rebel army, wants to marry out uh, my younger brother, one of them, to a Yusuji princess, and our current daimyo, Date Harumune, uh, was like, nah, I don't want that. I, um, I don't think that's a good idea, Dad. So he pushed him out, and now we're murdering him. Seems like a pretty, pretty radical thing to do. Radical, no, I don't know if that's the right word. It sounds right, but it also doesn't. It sounds like, oh, dude, radical. But that's not what I mean. Anyway, dry will do fine. And we're not going to get a speech because we're fighting rebels. So I'm just going to set up a little bit this way. Um, I'm actually going to have you guys in loose formation. Spread you out as far as I can. I have the Yari Sam or Yari Ashigaru right behind them. Yari Samurai on the flank. And the uh, generals right behind. Alright. Sounds like a good deal. Alright, so they do start on hill. Although it looks like they are actually moving forward. The Yari cavalry up front. I don't think he's gonna just charge head on into my army, but if he does, we'll just have our our Yaris go up front. But it seems like a very unlikely thing for him to do. I don't really remember anything from my uh, yeah, he's setting up right there from my other Date campaign. Like I said, if you haven't watched it, just don't bother because it's on like hard difficulty. I think it's just it's it's a lot worse than this one is gonna be. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't remember much of it. It's that was like recorded a year ago or something similar to that. So, uh, anyway, it looks like they might try and use this hill, though, from where he's set up. He's probably going to set up most of the units around here, so not really on top of this hill. Like, I know what I would have done if I was uh, him. I would have set up right here. But he doesn't seem to be that smart. He is, after all, an AI unit. Right, so what I'm going to do... It looks actually like I have moved up a little bit too far, possibly. Um, let's uh, set up a little bit differently here. Alright, so it's actually coming for me already. I'm gonna set up. I'm actually gonna use this uh, Yari Samurai unit because it's most likely what he's gonna be aiming at. Oh, he's moving back again. I wonder what his plan here is. Um, yeah, he, he they like to shoot at your uh, your bow samurai units. I'm not sure what he's doing. I'll just move forward. Have these generals in a slightly better place. Alright, he seems to be coming forward again. Anyway, what I want for him to do is to start shooting at my Yari Samurai, and I just keep dodging. Alright, now he's actually in position. Or in range. That's fine. So I'll let him, I'll let him start shooting at my uh, Yari Samurai, and then just basically I move them. And then their arrows will constantly miss. It's a bit of a cheap way to do it, but I will be able to hit him. He will not be able to hit me. And also, on top of that, the further I move away, the further he comes towards me, and the easier the shots will. Plus, I'll be able to charge at him in a minute. The only thing is I need to stop moving every once in a while so he comes out of cover, otherwise he's going to be hidden and I won't be able to shoot him in either way. And we don't want that to happen, so I'm going to wait for him to start shooting, which is now, and then we move. we got to fire a shot off. Most of his arrows miss. I'm going to now move forward and backwards a little bit more so that I stay in this range. But I can still uh, keep shooting at him. Well, he cannot constantly shoot at me. I will suffer some uh, casualties, but of course, like I said, I am planning on actually disbanding this unit soon anyway. If after this battle or if after we've taken the first town, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, soon. I'm actually going to start moving forward a little bit and might be able to get into that unit soon. Alright, he actually got a few kills there. Nothing too bad though. Now I'm going to sort of weave back and forth to the left and right. Weaving is not too useful anymore. Alright, I'm gonna start charging him now. His uh, units seem to be quite far away. And one last volley off, he might get one more volley off as well. Yep, he did. But we lost 14 men in that total thing. And we're now gonna do a lot of damage to him. Alright, so I'll start moving these men forward. 
he seems like he's going to charge in all of his men. I'm going to move my cavalry forward as well. I obviously do want to be careful uh, of his Yari cavalry. That is going to do a lot of damage. Alright, so he shattered the first unit. And it seems like, obviously, now everything's going to come charging at me because he doesn't have any more... Um, these guys in guard mode, by the way, so they don't move from here. Uh, he doesn't have any more ranged units, so I'm going to move this guy to come and help here. And this guy might look like he's coming around for my cavalry, so let's try and cut him off from doing that. It looks like he's changed his mind. Let's go into Yari Wall and just set up right here. We're shooting him already as well. We're going to collapse that unit on there. We're going to move our cavalry around here and just charge that unit in the rear. And his Yari cavalry did move out, so we need to be somewhat careful of that. Our Yari Samurai unit is losing men, but again, we're going to disband it soon anyway, so I'm not bothered. And once we charge this one in the rear, he should actually run. Our general is in grave oh, danger, he already ran. In that case, never mind. Take you guys out of that. Alright, we do need to be careful of that unit still. Because he could do a lot of damage to me, but we might be able to shatter this Yari Samurai unit here charging into it here. Alright, definitely gonna get a charge off by that unit right there. But there's a lot of men in the way, so I didn't lose too much here. Actually, we're losing quite a bit now. But we got them all uh, in that little valley now. Oh, you should stop shooting at that particular unit now. Alright, there we go. So we lost a few more general units that I uh, wanted, but again, it's not really a big deal. We're not going to have another fight for a while. Yeah, that Yari uh, cavalry definitely fucked me up a little bit. But we didn't really lose anything else besides that. We lost a few of the Yari Ashigaru, we lost a few of the Yari Samurai, but nothing too serious. I do want to actually try and catch all these men, though, because there's a lot of men that are going to get away otherwise. So I'm just going to triple speed it from here on out. Hopefully my... Uh, Cavalry will be able to get through there. There you go, finally. They're off. These guys might get to the uh, edge, though, before we can reach them. That will be fine. If one of the units get, gets away, it's not too bad. All right, they've already reached the side, so we can't actually do anything except for move over there and kill them on the way. Yeah, we killed a few more men there. All right. Besides the victory, yeah, we lost a few more of the general unit than I should have. I probably shouldn't have charged in there and just let the Yari Cavalry... Um, engage with my Yari units again before having my general charge in the Yari Samurai, but I did manage to shatter the Yari Samurai. So in the end it was probably worth it. If I lost the general, it would not have been worth it, but we didn't. So that's all good. Nothing too bad happened. Alright, so we got two level ups of the Yari Samurai. It's a bit sad since he's going to go away soon. Um, kills... 240 for him, 122. The other general only 22 because they couldn't really get anywhere. Alright. He did survive, but that's fine. We're going to chase him off. And that actually is going to give us a level up for our general. Alright, so he does have die alive, but we're just going to auto that. And that will level up our general, which is great. Plus we get the inspired endeavors, which is always decent. So he's going to go into strategist as always, because it's such a good thing. And we can get either... Plus one to the Daimyo's Honor, plus one more one morale for all units under this man's command. Um, normally, I don't really go for the Daimyo's Honor, because I always know I'm going to get six honor and six loyalty on all my generals anyway. Um, if I had anything worse than plus one morale for all units under this man's command, I probably would have gone for the honor, but the one morale for all units under this man's command is pretty good. What would have been better is something like uh, charge or melee attack. That would have been absolutely amazing, but one morale is still pretty good, so I'm going to go for that. And we're just going to go back into Iwate for now. Uh, I don't really want to make any more units, just because when we've got the weaponsmith, my men will be amazing. I may actually leave my army around here either way. We're still replenishing. Um, I do want to get rid of this unit, though. So let's disband him. He's costing me quite a bit of money, and he's, he's alright, but he's not that much better. We currently can't make any units anyway. Maybe next turn I'll make two Yari Ashigaru just to make up for it. Or I'll make the first one bow Ashigaru. And then um, maybe make some more Yari Ashigaru. Just because if there if there's an army from them coming, I do want to be able to face it. Because um, I don't really want to move out with my army. I want to, 
to have a defensive battle against them first, whether it be in my castle or around here, probably around here because otherwise they're, they're probably going to go over here and go for my my uh, weaponsmith and stuff. Um, but I want to have a defensive battle, defeat them, and then pounce on that instead. So yeah, that's why I want to leave these units here. So we will make some units next turn, but for now, I think we are done. We have set up our mastered yards, finance, etc. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what happens. We're gonna have fifteen hundred and twenty-two bucks to spend next turn. Mission issued. Master the following art. Well, we're gonna go for way of the source. That's absolutely fine. Um, now I do want to upgrade my farms, which will leave me enough money to make one Boashigaru. So that sounds absolutely perfect. I only have two melee units. That's pretty pretty weak. So I do probably I probably will make two more and then. Uh, yeah, I just won't get the weaponsmith buffs, but I'll get those later on other units. I could actually technically make two right now. Actually, I can't even. Never mind. Let's make one. I thought I was able to afford two of them, but I guess barely not. So I reckon the Mogami are going to come into my territory pretty soon here. We haven't seen them just yet, though. Ashigaru are done. That's good. We have mastered Bushido. We're now working on strategy of attack. Cool. Alright, so our next quest is to capture a province belonging to the Mogami, and we get instill sphere and enemy units, which is pretty good for six turns. Great clan destroyed, I'm gonna go and head and say Tokugawa. Yes. What a surprise. Alright, so we build our harbor and we've completed the Boashigaru unit, which will move into the army. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Move it over there. Um, and now I really want to get this done soon, but. I'm not gonna not improve my roads and get two of these units as well. Once that is done, I think I may move out with this army. Have four Yaria Shigaru, two Boar Shigaru, and two generals. I think that'll be good enough to defeat anything that they can throw at me right now. And I want to get there um, fast enough. Right, so it is sa slightly sad that these men are somewhat depleted, but then again, we won't be facing any more Yari. Uh, cavalry for a long long time um, Right, so I think that is that to sort of everything here. Yes, okay So next turn we're gonna probably save our money and Start working on being able to make that harbor because we do want to get to that trading port as soon as possible Yari Ashigaru something something about Yari Ashigaru have spears Alright, there we go. So, I think next turn we're going to start moving out. Don't really want to make any more because it's just quite expensive. I could make one Katana Samurai just because one of them would be very good, but the upkeep costs are just so ridiculous that I am going to say no to that. Um, yeah, we have 1200 bucks, uh, it'll, it'll, plus it would take two turns to make that anyway. I could make two more just to be sure. 92 upkeep. Uh, Yeah, you know what? Then again, the weaponsmith is just such a waste to not get it with the weaponsmith. That's a two, that's two extra melee attack. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll just we'll hold off here for now and uh, wait for the Mogami to come. And if we've got two more turns, then in two turns I'll just make uh, two more units, and then those will have extra damage, and that'll be ridiculous. And then we'll move out to Ugo. I always postpone attacking stuff. I, I really want to be on the defensive before I go on the off offensive. And this will also allow us to build the uh, trading port next turn without any trouble, so that's good. Which will in turn allow us to trade. Otherwise, why how would you call it a trading port? Surprised that the Mogami still haven't come for me yet. Alright, uh, his son is born, that's good news. So we'll upgrade that. And then, yeah, we could make one now, but we'll just wait one more turn. Well, then we'll make two more, and then it, this army will definitely be good enough to move uh, to the Mogami. Let's just sit on this crossroads. I know those guys won't be able to reach next turn, but that's fine. Um, Alright, I think that was a pretty easy turn right there. I will probably start making uh, at least one ship soon. So that we can protect our trade trading boats. A um, medium bune will be a good ship to have. Alright, there was an army right there. 
I saw you, army. There's no hiding from me. Alright, so that's actually a pretty similar army, most likely. Uh, our weaponsmith is done, yes. And we can actually improve it right away, so I'm definitely going to save up for that. Because we are trading with the uh, Hatakiyama, we actually have the iron required for the we Master Weaponsmith. And getting this really early on, uh, together with the uh, encampment that we can operate to have extra melee attack, it's going to be extremely good. So I think I'm going to make two more. Uh, be just because they're so amazing right now. And I could attack these guys, but I don't think I want to. Sadly, we can't actually set up an ambush around here. This would be, you know, they would just be able to get past me. And if I set up here, there's always the chance that they go down here. So what I'll do is I'll just move um, right over here, just so they can't get past me. And they have to attack into me. Which means I'll be on the defensive, which is what I want. And then next turn we'll go towards their towns and take them down. Not take them. That's just... What the hell, man? What are you thinking? Alright, was the fearless again? Alright, oh yeah, and then... Okay, cool. Alright. Let's see if they come and attack me. I reckon they will. I don't see why the hell they wouldn't. And that'll be extremely m much in my favor, because I think we may actually have a mirror match in our armies. If he has two generals, it'll be a mirror match. There's a get chance... Oh, he moved away. He doesn't want to fight me. Alright, well... In that case, oh, we improved our roads, so we can actually get there now. In that case, we will come after you instead. I don't know what the hell you're gonna do, like what, like what his plan is. Some besides that, there's actually a possibility that he can go past me now, which means he might actually come back now, but he won't be able to get. Yeah, okay, that's good, because then we might be able to catch him actually. All right, so it is uh, winter though, so I don't want to go into his province next turn. Uh, we have 2200 bucks next turn, we cannot make that yet, that is sad, but we'll be able to make it the turn after. Alright, actually being uh, a prick, so I'm going to make one ship. 982 times 2, 2000, yeah, should be able to afford this even with the medium bunei. Should be able to afford that in two turns. Alright, let's do it. I also want to improve my town, like to a stronghold soon, but it's no rush yet because I won't be able to do that unless we ha until we have the encampment anyway. Until we unlock the encampment, put it that way. So let's see, yep, there they are again. I might actually be able to reach them. That'll be great. He is gonna suffer attrition. I could wait one turn, then we can definitely reach him. Because he's just gonna go try and pass me now. But he's gonna have to walk through there, so we'll definitely be able to reach him. And we'll be on the defensive either way, whether we attack him right now or whether we attack him later. So if I attack him now, there's a good chance he runs away, which means we'll have to chase him off into his territory, and then we'll have to fight him, and then we can't get back, and then we'll suffer attrition. Which is just not what we want at all. So, there you go. Explanation. Um, so, next turn... Uh, next turn we can afford that, except this will go slightly over. So let's wait, well yeah, we'll, we'll just postpone about one turn. So that the income doesn't come in until the turn after. Alright, um, so yeah, hopefully he'll just walk past me. He can attack me as well, that'd be even better to be honest. But if he walks past me, we'll definitely be able to reach him. Uh, and he'll suffer attrition as well. So that's... Uh, as much as I could ask for, really. And when we've defeated him, we'll move into Ugo and take his town. But that's going to be a while. Ooh, an agent, a Matsuke. There he goes. What a moron. Great clan destroyed. Otomo or Shimazu. Or Mori. Otomo, alright. Trading port. Uh, that's good. Means we can start making our trade ships, which we will. Actually, no, we won't. We will do this. And then we. Do we have enough? We do! Good. Alright, here we go. Fight. Are you gonna run? Nope, he's gonna fight. Uh, Alright, so yeah, it would have been a mirror match if we didn't have these two units. So except for, of course, we have the slight experience and they've got slightly depleted men, but mirror match. Oh no, yeah, we also have two generals, two is one. Um, oh, and he has five of these, right, so I, I would have had four. Well, whatever, it's not a mirror match. It's obviously in our advantage. He's got slightly less archers. I'm gonna try and do the same tactic as I did before. Luring out his archers. There's a good chance he's not going to fall for it, though, since he doesn't have any better targets except for my bowmen. Because he... I don't have a Yari Summer unit, which he wants to target. And he doesn't usually target 
yada 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 units, even if they're right up in his face. So there's a good chance that he will just shoot my archers, but we still have an advantage, however he has height advantage. But then again we have more men, including general units, so we could just uh, go up the hill and fight him, but it would mean more tri uh, more troops that die. So I'm probably gonna, still going to do the same tactic, however I'm going to use my Bosom or Boashigaru to do it. Um, this could be decent, actually. But no, I, I hate fog, actually. Rain. Uh, I doubt he would have fire arrows yet. But yeah, let's just go with rain. Just make sure he, if he does, he won't be able to use them. ここが我が軍の生命線。ここを破られたら勝利への希望は絶たれる。我が敵は奴らの領主と一門に忠誠を誓う勇敢な侍どもだ。あの者どもを滅ぼすとなると心が痛むが、これも運命のなせる技。
I could also do the same tactic with a general, but it's a little bit more risky. Oh, my generals actually have recovered quite well. That's nice. I wasn't aware of that. I thought they were a lot. I had a lot, uh, a lot less men than they do. All right, set up like that. Archers this way. In the forest for now. Yeah, see, he's setting up a little bit backwards. So I'm actually gonna do this. That is not exactly what I want. Oh my god. Yeah, they'll do it. Shit, nope. Alright, here we go. Uh, and my awesome Yadia Shigaru aren't like that awesome, but they're pretty good. Set up like that. Oh yeah, because I had them slightly behind. Alright, so I am going to... I think I am going to try and do this tactic here with my... Uh, my general. I'll use my second general for this. Try and lure out, lure out his boy Shigaru. I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit. Just because. And they won't be sh getting shot at either way if this plan works out. Uh, which means I'll have you guys on loose formation as well. Just need to get inside of their range. Alright, they're coming forward now. Good. Once they start shooting, I'll move backwards, which is... Now. Haha! -ha! You are no match for me. And actually, in this case, I'm going to keep moving backwards, not forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, because I want them to charge at me. Oh, really? Is that your plan? Uh... Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how I... Oh, he's been, he's been sitting in Yari wall formation because he's getting tired. Right? I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it's not too bad. Oh, he's moving back. If we can get some volleys off in his rear, that'd be great. Alright, it wasn't in rear. Alright, he's shooting at my uh, bows now. That's still fine. It's a 1v2 here. Um, although we are shooting at Yari Ashigaru, but that's, that's fine too. The moment I move these guys in front, he'll run away. Move these guys because they have the least experience, and I don't care about them at all. All right, they are already losing morale. They might even shatter before they would reach anything. Can intercept them just in time. They don't even want to engage in this fight, but they're gonna have to. They actually routed or broke. I want to completely get rid of them, but I'm actually gonna pull these guys back. Just have these men keep shooting at him so he might break and actually fuck it. Let him come back. He's gonna break really soon if he does. Alright, just gonna pull these guys back. My archers, I told you to fire that, you know, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what the hell you're doing. Just getting shot is what you're doing. Alright, so now it is two archers versus two. He has lost more men than I have though. Actually, has he? Nope, he has actually got more men than no, it's I think it's might actually be exactly even. Yeah, I think it is. My math was very quick there, though. Might be one or two off. Actually, it would be either two off or it's even. Alright, he's coming to charge at me again. Won't be an issue. I'm actually gonna charge his um, his bow units with my cavalry here. These two units should be able to do a decent amount of damage. I'm also going to inspire my bow units. Which will mean I should be able to win that fight, especially since they're now together. And then my men are in loose formation. Oh, losing men now. Starting to shoot my general. We have to run through there, of course. Shooting at that unit. That's completely fine. Be my guest. Shoot at my shit units. I'm gonna put you guys into regular formation. And charge these guys on the sides. You guys shoot at them. You guys come forward. Actually, everyone come forward since they won't have any more archers soon. And over here. Alright, he's coming forward now, but at least we're keeping this guy busy for a bit. We won't lose too much from this. He's not even charging yet, so... He's losing a lot of men here. Alright, we're gonna pull out. And we're gonna start charging in our other units. Oh no, don't get pulled back in. Alright, lost a few of my general units there. As long as I don't lose the actual general, it's all fine. Is he in there? That is actually a general right there. That man. But he got out, so it's all good. Alright, I'm actually gonna 
no collapse on these three units right here. I'm gonna keep these guys over here in case those men get any funny ideas. I'm gonna put these guys in. Oh, can't put them in Yari Wall, sadly, since they're already engaged, even though they're not really. Oh, hold on. No, oh, man, I had it for a second. Alright, go over here. Actually, no, just fucking charge these bow units. And there's that Yari. Oh, he's moving back. He does have a general, but it should be fine. Oh, these men are all running. That's nice. They are broken. Everyone's breaking. That's good. I'm gonna move my archers up behind my men. I'm gonna put these guys in Yari wall formation. And I'm gonna... Actually, yeah, you guys keep going over there. Engage with that unit. I'm gonna set these men up like this. And... You guys Yari wall. May have been a little bit too late. It's alright though. You guys help that unit out. And generals, come hither and help out My if you lord, would. A glorious victory will soon be yours. All right, so these fights are all being won. Look at that. All right, we have done it. Uh, general, you go after that. You go after all this crap. All right, so. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a heroic victory just because we had a lot more men, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Are you seriously going to shoot that stupid general? We just killed one of them. Man, that was terrible shooting right there. Um, oh, get out of the way of the stupid general, please. Right, anyway. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we lost barely anything, so it could be a heroic victory, but I don't think it will be because we had a, lot, we had a few more men than they did. It tends to only give heroic victories when you have like less men you win like battles that you normally would not have won. We'll go after that unit over there. There's 15 men remaining. They might actually be dead regardless. Triple speed that for a second. Charge them first since they're the first ones to reach the border. And other general, what are you up to? You need to reach that unit right there. And we sh might be able to kill that entire unit off. Alright, you go back so that you can run through. And you guys are gonna kill off a lot of these men as well. Good. May even get another battle, which will be another 15 experience as well. Right. Come on, charge them again. There you go. Pick them apart one by one. So, yeah, so far, pretty good first episode, I'd say. I'm normally not a huge fan of uh, Yari Ashikaru. Like in my sh uh, Shimazu Katana, or sorry, my Shimazu campaign, obviously I was able to make um, my uh, katanas right off the bat. And uh, I did that, and that helped me a lot. And then I didn't really have to play with any Yari Ashikaru units. I had a few for a while, but I got rid of them pretty early on. Um, okay, just kill these last few men off. There you go. Decides a victory. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so we actually had um, we uh, we had our, our main unit right right off the bat, so I, I didn't really play around with the Yari Ashigaru units, and I don't really do it either way. If I don't if I don't have to, I won't do it. But in this case, to get the Nodachi will take a while. Plus, the Nodachi isn't actually a solid main unit; it doesn't have any armor or very little armor anyway. So that's why um, we're just gonna use the Yari Ashigaru first. And then we'll switch over to uh, katanas once we've got the income and all that. Um, and Nodachi, obviously, as a support unit. They're going to be sort of my flanking unit. Alright, it's a bit sad they ran this way since I kind of want to go to their town, but it's fine. Alright. It's going to auto resolve that. Lost four men. But again, we got a lot of experience. So our general is uh, hopefully to leveling up again. Right, so. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Yeah, I really don't. Whatever. Um, right, so we're working on the Master Weaponsmith. That's good. We are going to be able to do this in four turns. We are making... Are we making boats? Yes, we are. And uh, we're going to make more and more. We're just going to shove them over there. Hopefully that's still available, but it should be. If anyone's got it, it'll be the Magami. And the Magami are going to die in a somewhat soonish fashion. So... Um, Alright, two more turns for military access, so in two turns I'll ask them for some more money again. And now we're gonna go to Ugo. 
And I doubt the Mogami have much left. Ooh, there was the uh, Yasuji. So we'll probably meet them soon as well. Yes, get rid of that agent. Oh, nice. Sweet, dude. Oh my god, they got a full stack there. Let's hope they don't come and attack me. With speed, maneuverability. Alright, so the medium Bune is done. Clan adopts Christianity Shoni. Yes. Always oh, the damn Shoni. Alright, medium Bune is done. And war declared to Takeda and the Oda. Alright, so we'll have this guy move over here just so we can see what if they've got anything on there. And if they do, who it is? Actually, it's someone over here, I believe. Even though it looks like it's over there. Right, so let's make some more trade ships. Just gonna queue up a few of them in case I forget. Uh, we can't actually upgrade anything except for this to a military port, which I'm not gonna do anyway. We do need to do this, but again, it, it, it can take some time, because... I don't know if we're going to go for heaven and earth right away. It will be very good because we'll be basically be able to make um, our Nodachi the way they're going to be. I've already said that like six times. But I do need to go for equal fields pretty soon as well. Which takes uh, 5, 12 turns. This will take 11 turns. Maybe. It's it's so good though. Like Having those Nodachi up, like, upgraded to the max right away will be amazing. Alright, it's currently spring. We can get to their town before winter. So let's get our move on. Might be able to get the first town in the first episode. That would be good. Now it's just a question of whether the Hatakiyama are going to declare war on me or not. Because that with that army they could easily do it. Especially since they can see I've got an opening now at Iwate because I don't have anything there. I'm not going to make any more men for a while. This, this army will do absolutely fine. For the time being. And um, it'll just be a waste of uh, upkeep costs, which we will not be able to afford. So I believe the uh, this town actually has a uh, stoneworks, which is nice. It'll make our buildings cheaper to make. Are you serious? You gonna move boss me again? Like I'm not gonna follow you or something? All right, eliminate any general in battle. Nice. That's gonna be easy. Great clan destroyed. Shimazu, Mori. Uh. The Oda just went to war, didn't they? Oh, it won't be the Oda. The Oda are strong as fuck. Shimazu, right? Ship build, trade ship. Alright. You, first. Go check out what's going on over here. Nothing. Well, we'll have that then. You start making your way over there. Alright, we have 1400 bucks. Do I have anything to make? I don't think so. No, we can make units. I'm not gonna do it. Alright, so are we gonna have another... Ooh, hello. Yai Samurai, eh? Now that is a somewhat more interesting fight that you are proposing to us. We're still slightly depleted. I'm not really worried about it. I'm surprised he didn't attack me. He's got a better army than I have. But okay. Free, free Ari Samurai. Free Ari Ashigaru and Tobo uh, Ashigaru. We do, do have the experience. We got some damage, but obviously the Ari Samurai will still be better. Two generals against this one. Should be fine. It's just going to be the same tactic again. Need to get rid of his archers and then we can be on the defensive against his... Uh, his units, his melee units. Ooh, this is a very, very good map for us. Since he's on the defensive. I wonder if he's actually gonna take any heal. He'll most likely take something like that or like that. Probably this one. But if he doesn't, if he's just gonna stay in the middle, he may even come for me since his um, infantry is technically better than mine. Although I do have more. And sometimes when your infantry is better, the AI will be like, hey, I can easily beat you in infantry mode, so I'm just gonna come charging at you. And then you're like, no, 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 that's not how it works at all, sir. And then you defeat them. And then you cheer. Very loudly, into the microphone. Um, I could go for rain again, I still don't know if they've got fire arrows. I think they can't actually technically have them anyway. Since it takes the same amount of time for me to get away at the sword as for them to get this, unless they cheat. Which is very much possible. We'll just go with dry. If they have them, we'll at least have learned that they have them. Katanawa,抜いた。敵方に一人でも生き残りがいる限り、この刀さやには収め。すべては家のためじゃ。我が敵は奴らの領主と一門に忠誠を誓う勇敢な侍どもだ。あの者どもを滅ぼすとなると心が痛むがこれも運命のなせる技仕方なかろう相手方には
武者の数が少なすぎるようだ、うん、侍の方を持つわけではないがこれは動かぬ事実これで敵軍全体の勢力が落ちる結構なことだろうもう工場は十分だ戦いの時わしにとっては総大将の技量を発揮する時だお主らに無駄死にはさせんぞ I like how my general is making fun of the lack of samurai for them when we don't have any samurai. <laughs> They at least have three, which is more than what we've got. Alright, so there's a good chance that we'll go for this、uh, hill here, so I'm gonna set up on this side. Stupid little village is gonna be in the way, but. What are you gonna do?、Um, actually, just go into loose formation again. Because why not? Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Experience in the middle. Although we have some experience on. Actually, yeah, let's put this guy here. Yeah, okay, that'll do. Alright. Don't want all the experience on one side, because then one side's just gonna fly, or、uh, like die. That is way too close to my archers. Yeah, then one side will just die, and the other side will、um, be alive, and then they get. To、uh, roll the curtains on our one flank that is dying.、Um, let's put you slightly more in the middle, shall we? That is not in the middle at all. That's, that's more like it. Alright, let's do this. Where have they set up? Ah, on the right. Oh, they're really gonna go for that hill? Okay. I wasn't expecting that, but sure. That's,、uh, that's what I would have done, I think. Actually, no, I would have probably gone for this thing right here. But that's, that's definitely a viable、uh, plan. Oh, wait, I completely missed this unit, so. <laughs> it's not moving. It doesn't matter.、Um, we'll just set up right there somewhere. Have to set up properly anyway, because I can't actually zoom in far enough to be able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, sure, whatever. Just for it. Okay, they're actually setting up like that, which they're definitely going to change once I get there, which may be good for me, because then it means some of his units might be on this side. Um, <clears throat> which means I won't have the hill advantage. Right, everyone's moving.、Um, yeah, this, this hill is definitely a slight, slightly bigger issue than this would have been. Actually, no, it's probably better. It's higher, obviously, but it doesn't have any trees for cover. So if we were to have to fight them、uh, archer to archer. Ooh, they're sitting in、uh, Yari Wall. That's good. It's gonna tire them out. If we had to fight them archer to archer, then we would, we would have a higher chance of winning against this here. Alright, so there's one bow here, and the other bow is probably. Oh, it's right there. It's not too far off. Oh, they're shifting again because my army is getting into position. Like I said, more units getting over here now. They will be able to sort of flank, but we can just cover that,、uh, that flank with our men. And the、um, Yari Ashigara unit in、uh, Yari Wall is basically as good as a. Well, it's not as good as a katana unit, but it can hold out very, very long. Alright, so.、Um, I think I'm just gonna go for. Trying to lure them out with my、uh, bow units. I am gonna move these guys up, but no further than right here. If we can kill their bow units, actually. Seeing that now, if we can kill their bow units, they're gonna come charging at me. So. I'm gonna put.、Um, these four units. Here and have these two over here in case I do need to use them to fight or cover against the cavalry charge or whatever.、Um, and I'm gonna basically, once I've killed those two archer units, I'll have、uh, they'll come charging at me and they'll come sort of on top of this, which is not big, but it's a slight hill advantage, including、um, having Yari Wall would be great. I mean, best would be just setting up here, but that would be stupid. Alright. So, while that's going, that plan goes into motion, let's move up some more. Again, these guys are just gonna get tired. They don't, they're not tired yet, this one as well. But over time, they will get more and more tired. So that's good. And, uh, move up some more. If we can get one bow unit at a time, it'll be great. We'll still take a lot of damage because the AI just does a lot more damage to you than you do to them. Let's move up like this. Yeah, the main shot, here they come. 
gonna move back a little bit. Alright, that second billion does seem to be coming. But I'm gonna keep moving back just so his hill advantage is slightly less every time. Which means we'll do more and more damage to him. Alright. Don't wanna risk going too far back because then he'll just not follow me anymore. So let's uh go slightly forward as we're not really shooting him right now. Alright, he lost 10 men already. And his second unit's probably gonna stand right inside of him. Yeah, that's that's good. We might be able to do a lot of damage there. We have lost all our men already as well though. Let's move these guys over here. I should probably should have waited until they shot at least once. These men are definitely dying quite fast. But once we start firing two units at a time, we should be doing a lot more damage. We're getting somewhat slightly flank shots on them as well. Alright, here comes a volley. Alright, another one. Doing good damage to them now. See, even in... Um, in a, uh, what do you call that? A loose formation, they still do a lot of damage to you. And you really don't do that much damage to them. But we're, we're um, catching up now. That unit's down to less than 190 men now. 146, this one down to 100. They still got a, a little bit more. But we are catching up. We got more experience as well. Oh, that unit is know, moving slightly. It uh, saves me a bit of uh, damage as well. I am just going to fight it out like this, really. Alright, so we're down to 98 and 85. We're down to... 50 and 132. That unit's probably going to shatter somewhat soonish. It's shaking right now. Alright, I'm actually going to target this unit at the rear now. I could have done the tactic of moving back and forth constantly, but. I don't seem to be shooting much anymore. I do want to make sure this guy runs though. Definitely going to have a lot less uh, archers after this, but... The question is, are we going to even win this? I mean, I'm surprised this unit hasn't run yet. I have the 34 men now. And my units are dying quite badly, actually, at this point. Down to 28 men, come on. It's wavering. Surprised how... Okay, there we go. They're gone. Surprised how much damage they are doing to me, really. Okay, so now just one unit left. We have about 100 men left against about his 100, so it's it's about even. We sh you should think that we would win this of experience, but... I probably really should have done the uh, moving constantly. Dodging his arrows. Go on, men, start firing. I also should have actually... Um, it's a bit late now, but I guess I can still do it. Should have done this, that would have make a, made a big difference as well. It's a little late now, but it'll still work. All right, you can see their men are getting tired as well now, by the way. Ooh, they're actually moving up so we can start firing my um, generals. Also a tactic I probably should have done. Was uh, sort of lazy with this fight, I guess. It's gonna make them do that. We need to make sure we can win this battle here. And since we're, there's nothing we're gonna have to fight, I'm actually gonna move these guys back as well. And I'm actually going to move these guys. I really want... Actually, no, it should be fine. I just need to be careful that this cavalry doesn't charge me. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, this unit has used all that ammunition, so it's my, might as well move that back as well. It would be great if we kill this unit off here. We have about one more volley left, so I might actually not be able to kill it at all. Are you... Oh shit, they're out of ammo as well. Wait, we can't charge them. Uh, I guess we'll do this. You're going to be, like, directly in the way. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Alright, once we route this unit, though, all those men are going to come at me. They're already coming. Alright, there we go. Move them back. Now there's a good chance they're going to come at me. It looks like only just one unit still. Oh, yeah, actually, there's a, we, they know we don't have any arrows left. <laughs> so <laughs> there's actually a chance that they may not come at all. Which means that we would have to go off on top of the hill, unless we go this way. Yeah, there's no way we can lure them out anymore, really. That's pretty sad that we run out of, run out of ammunition there. Right. Really? 
That one, right. Which one is that? There you go. Fuck out of here. Alright, so now we can target this first floor. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna move up. Which is not exactly what I wanted, but, um... That's how it's gonna be, and that's how it's gonna be. It's, uh, it's sad that I ran out of arrows. I guess if even if I just left one volley in there, that probably wouldn't have been enough for them to start running at me, but... My archers, as much experience as they've got, they're gonna lose all of that when they replenish their men. Which is pretty sad. But, uh, that's just how it's gonna be. Yeah, I really should have uh, used my generals and also should have just kept them moving so that they wouldn't have gotten so many good uh, shots on me. But it is what it is. Now I'm not sure how we're going to approach this because they, they have better melee. Um, so we, we need to approach this the best way we can. And that is not running up a hill starting to fight them. They are luckily a little bit tired. At least their Yari Ashikari units are tired. My men are fresh as can be. So I really want them to come charging at me, but I don't think it's going to happen. This would be an amazing place to set up, but the more we move over here, the more these guys will adjust like that. Unless they're coming to charge at me, but they're not. Although that also does mean that eventually he'll be like this, and that means we can just keep going this way, and then we can eventually maybe get on top of the hill with them. I could also leave them like this so that we can pick them apart one by one. That's not exactly how I want it. There we go. Generals are going to be important. Alright, I'm just going to put you guys like right over there. We'll never be able to get to you there. Generals are definitely going to be important. Sadly, again on the hill, we won't be able to do too much charging at them. Alright, let's triple speed it. It would be great if they come and attack me. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Alright. I'm gonna have to set up a little bit faster here. Oh wait, no, they're just setting up still. That's surprising. Yeah, they're just setting up, but they're setting up down on the hill, so... It's perfect. In that case... They're actually, um... I think I've got a slight hill advantage over there, at least. Um, I do want to keep one general around here. Alright, they're coming charging at me. We got the Yari wall, that's a Yari Shigari unit, that's slightly tired as well, that's good. That's another Yari Shigari unit, set them up in Yari wall as well. I can't really charge it because there's a Yari Samurai unit right there. They're also eating my flank right there. Alright, if they're all gonna move right like that, I'm gonna set up more this way. I'm gonna walk them up in uh, Yari wall formation. I don't. I can't use this unit to flank in here because then these guys will just come and charge me. But this unit should be gone pretty soon. We've lost 40, 34 men. They lost a bit of more. Let's fire this unit. This is one of the weaker units as well, actually. All right, it's broken. It's good. We're not gonna chase it though. It's too bad, he, he will come back. I'm not going to chase it though, I, I mean. Um, he will come back, but uh, he, he will have very low morale. He only got 80, 68 men left anyway. Alright, so that's one unit gone. Uh, I'm going to replace this one. Actually, no. I'll leave the weaker unit on the side. I'm going to come closer and closer to these units right here. The Yari Samurai there, but if we're gonna start eating them from the side like that, starting to do damage, poking them one by one. <laughs> I mean, a Yari Samurai, so I'll take the pokes, just a few kills here and there. We are getting tired by sitting in this formation, but it's just how it's gonna be. Gonna do the same with these units, keep moving them up. Oh, there we go, another charge coming in. Oh, it's this unit. I'm gonna counter charge that one because it will break very quickly. It's shaking steady. 
Shaken. Losing a few more men that I'd like here. Wavering. Go on. Charge them. Alright, they're gone. Okay, that's one unit completely gone. We did lose a lot more men now, though. We're down to 120 here. This is actually uh, working out quite well, though. This, is, this episode's going to be a lot longer than I want it to be, but... Alright, they're actually engaged. Let's move those up in there as well. It means we need this unit to come over here. Otherwise, that flank's going to be too weak. Alright. And that's Yari Samurai, Yari Ashigaru, Yari Samurai. I don't really want to fight Yari Samurai with this weakened unit. Let's see if we can take these men apart. Uh, General, go in there. And inspire that unit. I haven't lost too much of these units yet at all. And he's already shaken. This is another Yari Ashigaru unit. Take these guys off Yari Wall for a second, otherwise they'll just get too tired. They're currently... Oh, they're still fresh. It's not too bad. Once we kill this unit off, we can actually either go for his general or just collapse on this side. Which is a, a more likely strategy than collapsing on this side, because these guys are too weak to collapse. On him. Alright, he's broken. I kind of want to finish him off. But I don't think I will. I'm going to set up like this. Means you may get a charge on me. If I don't kill him off. Uh, just by running over there, we're killing more and more of his men. Am I going to try and actually get this unit behind his general? And I'm going to use these guys like this again. Set them up behind that unit. Move this one in Yari while up there. Alright, that unit is shattered completely. I'm going to charge his general. The Yari wall formation actually. Just walk up to them as well. Alright. So a very passive approach, but we're losing very little men, except for those damn archers, of course. Alright, so it's General Charson. We're going to be killing them off, no problem. I'm going to move my general around here as well. And these two units keep up the pace as well. General behind. Yeah, this episode's going to be way too long. A bit sad about that, but that's alright. Uh... Might as well charge into that general as well. Alright, let's just uh, completely wreck these guys. They are in Yari Wall formation, so they're going to do the same thing about me, but I'm behind them, so... That unit's going to shatter in no time. And then when their general finally falls, that will be good. This unit. Oh, what are you doing? Just get in there. Alright, we've encountered with these men as well now. But we have captured them right here. Alright, these men are routing or running. Knight! General has fallen. Alright. I think it's time we just uh, attack everything, except for these two. We can, however, charge these guys fully on full on the back. Uh, you got a Yari Wall formation. Once we uh, encounter or go into melee with these guys, which I think I will do. These guys are tired as fuck already as well. Are you seriously that slow? Alright, let's charge in the rear. Alright. Go into Yari wall formation right here. You engage with them, you engage with them. Yari Samurai though, so it's a little bit scary. I'm gonna charge these guys. These guys will shatter right away from this first charge. Because we're running right, look at that. In their back, downhill, just amazing. Alright, there we go. Awesome. Sweet, sweet victory. We really didn't lose that much. We lost a, a few too many archers, but besides that, completely fine, this battle. Uh, I will continue this. I will probably triple speed. They're all really close to the edge anyway, and these guys activated their stupid sprint ability, so they're gonna get away. Sadly, there's a lot of men we, could, we uh, can still kill, and there's a lot of men we killed, to be honest as well. Like over here is a lot of corpses. Not too many of mine. Yeah, my Yari Ashigaru was really... I think the tactics there were, were really good. I couldn't have, couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> oh wait, it was me. Inspire yourself for no apparent reason. Alright. Let's just triple speed just for the rest of it. Oh wait, hold on. You need to get those men. 
Are you gonna reach them? Yes, a few of them at least. Alright, close victory, yeah sure. That was yeah. That was way too close. Man, I nearly nearly lost everything. You're completely right, game. If anything, that was heroic, but okay. <laughs> I lost too many archers for it to be heroic. But I think I could have not done that any better besides losing that many archers. Anyway, yeah, the downside is we are in their territory. Which, which means that my archers are not going to replenish at all. I may just send them back to my hometown, but I don't know. Anyway, we lost 456 men. Uh, got a lot of... Oh my god, this guy's got four experience already. Two experience. Yeah, these guys are going to be... Uh, it's going to be a pretty good army, actually. War fervor. Plus two morale for all units. All right. Uh, we're going to chase this guy off and murder him as well. Sadly, we could lose these units. Oh, we lost one as well. Well, you know what? If that's the case, I'm going to get rid of this guy since we're not going to punish him anyway. So you are going to get one more point in there, and you're going to actually... Um, oh yeah, that's the Ashigaru commander right here. For a second there, I thought it was this one. It looks pretty similar, though. Um, yeah, we're just going to go in this. I don't really like going... Actually, you know what? I could just ignore this entire part of the tree. I don't know what I would go for besides that. This is good to go for. Especially since we're an attacking clan. Um, you know what, I'll just keep one point for now. Normally I go for just so I can go for this stuff, but I'm not sure if I even want to do that. I do want to go for this, but besides, I mean, I, the general trees are getting a bit weak to me. I don't really like them. I like this one, and I like this one. This is amazing. Um, but besides that, I don't really care for anything anymore. I'm, I'm tempted to go into the attacking tree for once, which I never do. Never, ever. All right, so we did actually get a... Uh, a marker there, which is a bit annoying. We got two of them already, and they actually are the, one of the two things that count towards the uh, realm divide. It's uh, the battle markers and the um, what do you call it? The uh, the provinces that you own. So that's already counting towards it. You can see, otherwise it would have been empty, but it's already got a little bit in there. So um, yeah, I think that's going to be the end. I'm going to have to obviously. Uh, end the episode. Alright, we actually lost this. Let's give them military access again. Speak. Actually, hold on. Is our army still there? Yeah, it is. That's a bit scary. Are they at war with anyone? They are with the Miyoshi. That's all the way over here. They're not at war with anyone right here, so I may actually just um, not do that. It gives me some money, but it's not, that, it's not worth it for them to come with their entire army over here. So I'm going to end the turn this episode is, uh, yeah, definitely like 15 minutes too long. 15 minutes longer than I'd like it to be anyway. But, that's just how it is. At least it was interesting. We won some pretty cool battles already. We actually fought three battles in the first episode. It's pretty interesting. And the last one, I'm really, I'm really happy with the last one. How that one went. It's currently winter. I had not realized that. Uh, is that going to stop my progress? I think I might actually be able to reach it with my general, so I don't think it will. May have to siege them out, but there may not be anything there since you defeat another army. Either way, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, because it's the uh, beginning of the turn and it just saved. So, because I can't save, obviously, something legendary. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.